Hi guys, welcome to City TV. I'm so excited about our interview today because I am going to meet you with a very old friend. We met in the halls of PTV Lahore something like 15 or 16 years ago. And despite coming a long way since then, despite having a list of achievements under his belt now, he still remains the sweet, humble, approachable Sarmad Sultan Kuzek. Hi Sarmad. Hi Sarmad. It is so amazing to have you here today and thank you for taking the, the pleasure time. The pleasure is all mine. And I still remember those halls of PTVS. <laughs> that 16, was a long 17 time. 17 years ago, true. true. I know, it's, it's, it's been a long time but, but I was just thinking, you know, today um, even though we've known each other for such a long time, I realize that there's so much about you that I don't actually know. Oh. <laughs> and we're, we're actually going to try to focus on that sure. and get to know you. Sure. Can we do that? Sure. <laughs> Wonderful. So the thing is that you've, you've done so many different roles on TV and you've done from the very comic to the very serious and very, you know, sort of profound and well thought out roles. I was just wondering, I mean, tell us who exactly is Sarmat? Like, who are you? <laughs> I think now uh, I've come to terms with the idea that I have a... Uh, an unclinically diagnosed multiple personality disorder and I should just be very happy <laughs> with that <laughs> because um, to be honest I mean even if it's not just as an actor you know as a director also so I started with sitcoms and then I uh, moved on to like these extremely dark weird psychological plays you know which was the first series that I uh, produced uh, say like switching over from comedy to what we call serious dramas right? And from that to then, uh, you know, um, Hamsafar and between that, you know, doing a Tagore adaptation and then an Agatha Christie adaptation and then Manto and then in between again, very soap opera -ish stuff. So I also just can't figure How out, you know. How do you manage that? <laughs> no, I think, you see, again, along the list of whatever, you know, I've done, I think there's a, a parallel list which is about probably, you know, the forces or the... The, the reasons or the you know the cause and effect happening yeah. on the side sometimes it's it's probably just as sort of matter of fact as a career choice you know like for example when I did Hamsafar I think uh, I wasn't consciously you know uh, thinking about that this particular genre is needed or you know I need to do a romance no I just thought that you know I'd, I'd move to Karachi and uh, any sort of decent script I would give it a read and then I'll just pick very randomly, you know, jo dil ko acha lage type. So, uh, so sometimes it's just as sort of you know plain and superficial as you know uh, what production company is doing it, what kind of people are involved in it, and then you have projects which probably you know just keep sitting under the sort of the depths of your dark self, and then they surface when there's an opportunity, like Manto or like you know um, I, I'd say uh, this Tagore adaptation that I did for TV and um, to some degree more Mahal also you know. so yeah I don't more know Mahal's the talk of the town these days isn't it? Is it? I don't know I don't know I, I, I thought there would be more noise around it but really? I don't think there is enough <laughs> Wow that's all we've been hearing about <laughs> <laughs> and you know I, what I loved about it is not actually you know it's, it's not even about the end product it's like I was privy to bits and pieces of your journey in making it mm -hmm. and you know, simple things that you really miss sometimes mm -hmm. in the play today, the detailing, the mm -hmm. costumes, the sets, the, mm -hmm. you know, the, the way the people are styled. I mean, that, that all comes from, I guess, a lot of work. Mm -hmm. It's not just about the final product, it's about the whole mm -hmm. production, I guess. Because, uh, again, I think sort of with uh, most of the, the TV productions, I think there is so much of the sound and the fury with it, you know, that that it's it's never kind of, you know, laid properly before you get where you have to get with it. That is the final episode or the edited thing. So with More Mahal, I think, yes, we did try to, you know, take things back to the origins and to the, you know, the proper sort of, uh, you know, the process. And um, from preparing for you know the sets and the costumes and you know having people on board to create these characters to eventually you know getting these actors to go through like dialect training and a uh, horse wow. riding and so I mean the process was very satisfying I'll, I'll, I, I was very happy to be a part of that process you know or to sort of lead that yeah. that whole big uh, team but television is not the only medium he's associated with <laughs> and we know that he's 
he's practically done everything. <laughs> so you've done theatre, you've uh-huh. done cinema, you've done television. अच्छा क्या लगता है इनमें तो दफ अगेन उसमें भी वही है कि जब आप हमारे यहाँ मेरा ख्याल है अब तो मैं वो नौजवान नहीं रहा लेकिन जब भी कोई नौजवान शुरू करता है काम तो लेकिन वो जो बिल्कुल नौजवानी का वो जो फ्रीडम होता है ना जब आप कोई काम शुरू करते हैं सो आई डिग्री इन साइकोलॉजी एंड देन आई स्टार्ट ऑफ लॉन्ग साइड एक्चुअली जब मैं कॉलेज में ही था तो आप ऑफ कोर्स सब कुछ करना चाहते हैं आपका दिल चाहता है कि मैं सब कुछ सीखूं भी या करूं भी एंड आई थिंक हाँ अगर मतलब बहुत ही मॉडर्न साउंड ना करे तो मुझ में एक ड्राइव बहुत ज़्यादा है कि जब मुझे किसी काम की वो जो वो जो क्या कहते हैं जाती है चुल हो जाती है तो फिर मुझे होता है कि अब ये मुझे करना है अब मुझे ये करना है राइट और ये उस जमाने से है जब मैं मतलब वो वाला दीवाना बच्चा भी होता था नौजवान जो मतलब मैं लाइब्रेरी घुस जाऊंगा और अब मुझे चाहिए किताबें इसके ऊपर यू नो लाइक प्री गूगल सर्च में भी मुझे तो अब मुझे भी वही है कि ना जब काम शुरू किया उस वक्त सो मुझे नहीं पता था गूगल बिकमिंग सच लाइक यू नो फिन ऑन योर लाइक यू नो जस्ट लाइक अ Not even like it's not even what it's not even a thumb's distance away anymore. Huh? Everything. Just there. So, uh, us waqt I didn't go to a film school. Like, uh, uh-huh. maybe koi drawing drawing achhi nahi thi. Mujhe pata tha ki main NCA to beshak na hi darwaze ke andar ghusu. Because ek bunyadi test hota tha. And uh-huh. film us waqt tak nahi. Because I'm talking about 99 when I yeah. did my masters. So, uske baad phir hui wa jo kuch bhi aata gaya. Jawad Bashir ne audition ke liye bolaya to acting ka audition de diya. Jawad ne likhne ke liye bola to likhna shuru kar diya. डेढ़ दो साल बाद मुझे लगा कि अच्छा नहीं यार कॉमेडी तो बस एक हद तक ही आती है मुझे आई रियली वॉन्ट टू टेल दो स्टोरीज यू नो आई आई रियली ग्रोन आप रीडिंग यू नो लाइक पुराने विक्टोरियन लिटरेचर सारा और फिर जो नया कुछ पढ़ा था सो so, फिर वो सीरियस ड्रामे की तरफ भी आ गया फिर डायरेक्शन भी बीच में सो आई थिंक इट वॉज रियली लाइक आई टुक माई से द फर्स्ट फाइव सिक्स ईयर्स एज अ फिल्म स्कूल ना कि जो आ रहा है करते रहो होस्टिंग yeah. भी कर लिया आप लिख भी लिया एक्टिंग भी कर ली मॉडलिंग नहीं की बस पता नहीं क्यों मैं ख्याल मॉडल वाला फिगर नहीं बस वो नहीं मैंने किया था तो बाकी फिर मुझे अच्छा लगता था होस्टिंग एंकरिंग ये वो सब बट चॉइस थी कभी लाइक ग्रोइंग अप अंडर द स्ट्रॉन्ग इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ योर फादर फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंड बींग सराउंडेड बाई दिस वर्ल्ड कभी चॉइस थी डू नॉट डू दिस शदीद मतलब उस तरह के हालात है जब इतने सारे लोग होते हैं तो हर एक टेंशन कहीं थोड़ी थोड़ी आपको मिलती है ज्यादा कभी कम मिलती है पहली दफ़ा पी टी वी तब गया हूँ जब आ, मैं खुद एक्टिंग कर रहा था या अबा ने मैं टू टू टी वी स्टूडियोज अम्मी के साथ मैं रेडियो जाता था माई मदर यूज टू वर्क ऑन रेडियो सो वो भी मुझे इसलिए नहीं कोई रेडियो की फैसिनेशन थी जस्ट दैट आई वॉज अ वेरी लेंज बच्चा चिपका हुआ हर वक्त साड़ी के नहीं बस मुझे क्योंकि पता नहीं मुझे कोई सेपरेशन एनजाइटी होती थी तो सो आई थिंक नो अब प्रेशर भी इसलिए फील नहीं होता था कि मुझे मैंने कभी सोचा ही नहीं था कि मैं यू नो आई रियली गेट इन टू द सेम प्रोफेशन बट आई डू रिमेंबर एज अ एज अ मच यंगर पर्सन आई यूज टू फील वेरी कैन यू कन्फ्यूज अबाउट वट माई डैड डज आई वॉज लाइक वट पर्टिकुलरली इज हिज लाइक फील्ड बिकॉज वेन वी गो आउट द पीपल हु फ्लॉक अराउंड हेम द पीपल हु सॉर्ट ऑफ यू नो बॉर्डरिंग ऑन हेरासमेंट टाइप इंटरेक्शन शुरू हो जाती थी फिर इन स्कूल तो यू नो वेन एवर यू सर ग्रेजुएटेड टू द नेक्स्ट क्लास तो वो पहले दिन होता था ना आपका नाम आपकी फेवरेट स्पोर्ट और वट एवर एंड देन वट इज़ योर फादर डू सो अब सब बच्चे डॉक्टर एंड जाए एक्टर अच्छा मुझे उसकी भी समझ आती थी बिकॉज इट सब बच्चे मुड़ के मुझे देखते थे कि अच्छा वो क्या होता है मतलब और मैं आई थिंक बाई ग्रेट फोर्थ आई लिटरी लाइक सैट माई पेरेंट्स डाउन एंड लाइक यू नीड टू टेल मी एग्जैक्टली वट यू डू बिकॉज वेन आई से यू आर एन एक्टर I just see this weird reaction कि वो होता क्या है समझ नहीं आ रही समझ नहीं आती क्योंकि वो तो जो स्कूल के ड्रामे में बच्चा एक्टिंग करता है वो भी एक्टर होता है बट मैंने कहा स्कूल में कोई डॉक्टर तो नहीं बन सकता सो दैट साउंड लाइक अ सीरियस प्रोफेशन बट ही डिड सम कल्टिश रोल सो इफ यू हैड कम टू मी एंड यू यू सेड दिस इज माय फादर आई वुड हैव नोन हिम नो इवेंचुअली आई थिंक यस यू नो वो ही होता है कि 
आपके नाम से ज्यादा पीपल बोलो इरफान को सच्चा बेटा पढ़ता है सो नो देर वॉज नो प्रेशर टू बी ऑनेस्ट बस कुछ होता गया आई थिंक साथ साथ देर वॉज दिस लिटिल कंपनी दैट माई डैड सॉट ऑफ Uh, he used to run it back in the 90s so okay. it was a small advertising agency nice. where he worked for radio and tv i don't know this is really prehistoric when tv had those you know there was a still shot of a product with some text written yes. around it there was a very fast 7 second uh, voice over i think that was the production house where you know the abba ran it so mere college ke baad mein i just started sort of you know just going yeah. there I think I I discovered the sort of you know the the technical mm. and the the not so pretty underbelly of it first yeah. before I got charmed by you know the, the lights and, and the you know yeah yeah But when you're nine siblings who yeah. do you connect <laughs> with who are you closest to how does it how does it happen how does it pan out Ha us pe bhi I think again it's it's quite interesting so we are basically the produce of four people right so amma was divorced when she met my dad okay. so she had three kids okay they are much older than us like okay. my eldest sister is about 53 wow so and then uh, amma ba married and then they made four of us <laughs> like, you know, so and we are like say my eldest sister is about 2 years older than me then there is one who's 3 years younger and then there's one who's 5 okay. years younger than that's a brother and then abba married again also and then there are two more siblings so the youngest is 19 and the oldest is 53 so you know so the dynamic is very but that must be so much fun yes it is <laughs> but you know then it's not sibling like in in yeah. a lot of ways for example for me guria baji is more like a, a, a mom or you know sometimes yeah. i think you overplay the age and i have to tell her that you are daddy ban rahi hai because uh-huh. you, the way you kind of you know become uh-huh. so didactic about you know what you have to say and then the youngest is all like she doesn't understand what we She's have 19. to say she has her new world issues you know yeah. where I, i just don't understand uh, what the millennials we don't yeah. understand the millennials so, do we <laughs> so you see it's it's quite interesting so again i i i believe now we have our own sort of individual one on one thing with each other but i can't really say who i am really closest yeah. to that would be uh, kaval who's sort yeah. of next to me and um so she's in in a yeah. sort of an allied thing she does theater and yes. she does run this little uh, place called Olomopolo and you're do... often found there from what i hear yeah <laughs> yeah 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 so so okay. again i think because we're sort of in the similar line of mm-hmm. work so we we bond better that mm-hmm. way um but uh, hina who who doesn't live here she's uh, so, so again i i think i have i have a stronger emotional connect with her yeah. the youngest one i can't decide because i don't know they like she has moods like she has <laughs> moods where she just gush with like you know lot of love no, and then she's like you know she'll call me weird things you. and i'm like okay i mean that where did that whole <laughs> sarmad bhai thing go you know like she'll write to me something very casually and oddly like hey some bum what's happening I'm like <laughs> some bum okay, no no know. some bum ha huh? so i don't know you know she, 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 so from that <laughs> to then We becoming really word. you know to grave issues like <laughs> that uh, you know i don't know Where, where life is taking me and I'm like you're 19 you don't need to deal with existential <laughs> crisis just, just as yet as yet you know bahut time she's like no but you know i have i've done nothing and i'm not a child. i'm like ah oh. <laughs> 19 yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay <laughs> so between you know so i don't know how to really yeah. think about the bonds but it's it's it it has helped me a lot because i think there's such diversity at <laughs> home and there has been like uh-huh. all of us growing up together and then uh, now again everybody is kind of you know diverging out into their married mm-hmm. life or their professional yeah. lives and so i think it's been quite interesting and we had a joint family also like wow so it was like a big kabar <laughs> into and further complication there was a joint family also happening over there so some bum <laughs> yes you you worked with quite the say superstar list in pakistan haven't you i have um yeah so there's fawad and yeah. the mahiras <laughs> of the world and then you know the new upcoming ones so there's you know and now with more mahal you have another list so how does that work out who 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 do you like really ah, <laughs> i said that part where one has to think whether one wants to be politically yes. correct or just, whether one just wants to be or you can correct. be totally politically <laughs> incorrect and give us 
तो एक्चुअली ये सी रेटिंग्स अच्छा दिस सो ये सी दिस रेटिंग सक्सेस ब्लॉकबस्टर हिट्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट इट्स अ वेरी रीसेंट फिनोमेनन फॉर मी यू नो अंटिल हम सफर टू बी ऑनेस्ट आई यूज्ड टू लिव इन माय happy little burrow and i just made and stuff that i wanted to make and i never even did the essential migration to karachi which yeah. which was quite know, a, right? important how did you to, survive that uh, because but then you know nobody knew about what i was doing <laughs> either they knew my comedies which i did in 99 <laughs> till 2001 chiku. chiku and all of that and then in between whatever i did it just never got the yeah. sort of the attention so uh, so when i was growing up and then when i just started off i think uh, so i had like most of the time my fanboy mm. moments when i used to you know work with say sanya saeed or noman mujaz yeah. or savera nadeem or maria vasti you know all these people yeah. okay uh, other than that when we started off i mean uh, as in we the bunch of people who did those comedies yeah. so we were all new so we yeah. didn't have like so that that huh. fan thing happening yeah. uh, so then later on of course you know you you get to become friends with them or mm. whatever you know you you develop a camaraderie and then came the the lot which i hadn't worked with at yeah. all you know people that you know then just happened to you know yeah. be a part of things that we did together that okay. certainly includes fawad mahira yeah. um then i think now misha and umair jaswal yeah. and a lot of other people definitely yes. so yeah i don't know okay. um we have big stars but i think when we were working i think that's one sort of uh, if not a conscious thing that i do but i really want the you know the the stardom to, to be kind part. of you know like i am the boss, boss on this no, floor yo no me being the boss it's, it's more about okay so this is our thing uh, this is uh, where you need to invest all your energy yeah. and let this thing's ego be bigger than anything else you know yeah. like let's just tell a story in the most effective way and i think that ways i believe people are bigger stars for me when they have no stardom about their approach towards work here he is the best of two beautiful people we're so glad to have spent time with him um and it's been an absolute pleasure thank you thank so you much thank you so much sir thank, thank you, you.